change things, don't you? I understand, man. I want to make absolutely sure you understand what will happen here about what you're telling me. Yes, yes ma'am, I understand. I understand that you've grown rather fond of Mr. Patterson. And it's my duty to ensure that you're not doing this to protect your friend. Ma'am, look, I can assure you, I know what this looks like, but this isn't about him. It's, it's about me. Okay, then. As you probably already know, there will be an investigation. Depending on the findings of that investigation, your sentence may be adjusted accordingly. What about T? Well, that also depends on the investigation. Once again, his fate is in your hands. Let's hope this time you're telling the truth. Had to come out. Maybe you confessed. 
I mean, shit, man, yeah, I confess, and I mean, I didn't mean for things to go down the way they did. I was young, younger. You know, we were just having fun, man. I mean, my parents would have killed me if they found out that I stole liquor from their bar and took my girlfriend skinny dipping. I mean, man, this girl was so hot. She would have done anything I asked her to. Look, look, okay, whatever. We were just having fun, okay? And then T showed up, and everybody knew he was a retard. You know, I didn't think he would go to prison. I just thought he would have to, you know, pick up trash on the highway or something. You got him convicted of raping an unconscious underage girl. It's not picking up trash on the side of the highway kind of a crime. I mean, yeah, I know. Like I said, I was young and stupid, okay? I mean, I just figured with him being slow or whatever, that maybe they would just take it easy on him. And now you're in here. Yeah, I know. It seems so stupid now. I was... So worried about what my parents were thinking about me stealing liquor from their bar. Now I'm in here for life. Plus whatever they give me for putting tea in here. We did the right thing. Yeah, well, what does it give you besides more time? Yeah, so what? So they add to your uh, sentence. It doesn't change anything. Look, man. I was already facing life. Now I have no chance of getting out of here. But there's always time served. What, like they'll reduce my sentence for time already served? Yeah, it's kind of in the name. I mean, you combine that with good behavior and you never know. I, I, I just don't see it happening, man. Look, I know you don't want to hear me say this. Then don't say it then. You know I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, there's just something about that term, right? What term? Time served. You mean something else, too. What, like they'll reduce my... We sentence? already went over that. Okay. Yeah, it might, but it means something beyond that. You know, like, look, it's like everything that you've done already counts for something. You're getting credit, right? So you know that you got more to do, more to learn, but everything you've gone through, everything, everything you've had to do to this point, it means something. What, so I should just be happy that I've been sitting here for the past five and a half years? In a way, yeah. <coughs> it's going to take you some time to see things that way, man. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of the point. Like. 
like they all are at first. He was charming. He was really good with anniversaries. I think he still remembers what I was wearing the first time we met. I was a sophomore, he was a junior, uh, for the hopeless romantic. He used to like to surprise me with things like flowers or stuffed animals. Back then I thought it was cute. Now I just realize he was making sure there wasn't anybody else. I remember this one time, it was right before graduation, and I had been really stressed out and spending a lot of time at the library. I came home to find my apartment lit up with red and blue lights, and I was sick immediately. So I looked around for the officer to talk to. And I don't remember exactly how it happened, but he tried to surprise me by breaking into my apartment. He managed to open the kitchen window and climb through, but he had gotten his pants stuck on something and it broke the window frame and the window came down on him. So he yelled for help and the, and the neighbors, not knowing what was going on, called the police. Kind of laughed about that for years. So, what happened? I don't know, really. I mean, I took the written exam and got put on the waiting list for to become a police officer. He got a job at his father's law firm. It was just like we had planned, although I don't think we anticipated the time we'd spent apart. I don't know really what changed in him, but eventually, nothing I did ever seemed right. I used to hate it when he'd leave. The house seemed so lonely. Now I can't wait for him to be gone. It's the only time I can relax. Ma'am, with all due respect, you need to get out. Have you thought about filing for a divorce? Of course I have. I've thought about filing for a divorce more times than I can count. But how do you divorce a divorce attorney? He's got an impeccable reputation. Everybody in town adores him. They would never believe me if I told them what he was like at home. They would never take my word over his. And they don't have to. It doesn't matter what they think. You just need to take care of yourself. I know. But I don't have any place to go. And without him, I have no money. He knows that. You could stay with us for a while until you got back on your feet. It'll all work out in the end. It always does. The lockdown. This isn't your fault. 
he was your friend. That's why we need your help. You and I both know what happens to rats in here. If you're worried for your safety, I can keep you safe. <laughs> Just like you kept him safe? Nah, thanks. I'll, I'll take my chances. Look. Paul was a special inmate. He helped people. I know he helped you, and he helped me too. What do you mean he helped you? I was, I was going through a rough time, and he listened to me. You told your problems to an inmate? He helped me too. <laughs> Am I losing my mind? <laughs> what? Why would you tell your problems to an inmate, and why are you telling me? Because we trust you to do the right thing. What you did for Theodore took courage. Now you have one more job to do. We're trusting you to help us. Trust us to protect you. Tell us what happened. Look, the Aryans were all over tea. And you know how it is in here. Nobody likes, likes a sex offender. You know, Victor and Slim were all over him. Word is that they were pissed off because of the fact that life, or er, Paul, took T's place. Took his place? Paul told Vic that he would take the fall for T. He only had the promise that when it was all done, that they would leave T alone. But Theodore was released. This isn't your fault. Look, if I hadn't fingered T, he would have never wound up in here. Paul would have never had to protect him. And none of this would have ever happened. This is no way, this is not my damn fault. Why didn't they just drop the whole thing when T was released? Because a debt needed to be paid. served in the military together. We kept in touch. He knew I owned some properties and said he had a friend who <coughs> might need a place to stay real soon. I never questioned Paul and I sort of owed him a favor. Well, it seems like, like a nice place and the neighborhood seems nice. I suppose I have to ask, how much will the rent and utilities be? Uh, the rent is $9.75 a month, and the utilities are about $90. But you're all paid up for the first six months. There must be some mistake. I haven't paid you anything yet. 
I know that, ma'am. Uh, Paul had me call the electric company and get the average, and he's been sending me money for quite a while now. You're all set. Uh, you can move in whenever you need to. Hey, what are you reading? What, this? Uh, this is the Bible. Uh, it, it, it speaks to me. <laughs> I'm not much of a Bible reader. What's it about? All kinds of things, I guess. Like what? Well, there's this verse that I found underlined is from Matthew, it's verse 10, or chapter 10, verse 39. It states that if you cling to your life, you will lose it, but if you give up your life for me, you will find it. It, it comforts me. Comforts you? Why? It reminds me of someone. I might regret asking this, but the money that Paul used, I mean, being the warden of a prison and all, who does it remind you of? Ma'am, I can assure you everything is on the up and up. For as long as I knew the man, Paul was always helping people out. He made a mistake, and that mistake ended up landing him in prison for what turned out to be the rest of his life. But the Paul I knew, the real Paul, he was... A good man. So, what are you in for? Life.